Good morning, everybody. Welcome to All Psyched Up. So nice to see you again. What I wanted to share with you today was a little bit of a secret. So, um, you know, for those of you who haven't seen some of my very early videos from June, July last year, um, you may not know this, but I am somebody that has also been affected by anxiety. And for me, it tends to be more social anxiety. Good morning, James. But what's happened recently was um, yesterday, I, good morning Frank, yesterday I experienced a little bit of anxiety myself and I wanted to share it with you today, um, just in the spirit of being open and, and transparent. So, um, you know, all that happened was I was just sitting down at work and it was business as usual, good morning Marta, and uh, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden I felt this good morning web, all of a sudden I felt this surge inside me of like butterflies and it was happening around my chest and, and around my heart and it made me feel very uncomfortable and um, good morning river and it made me feel very very nervous and I noticed that I started to tremble a little bit and I noticed that my mind was racing good morning Glenn and I wasn't able to good morning Tina I wasn't able to really focus on what I was doing I was just trying to put up um, a Facebook post and normally I love doing these and they're very easy for me to do but I couldn't stop thinking about why am I feeling like this what's going on is something happening to me um, I tried to persevere and put the thought aside and just try and focus on what I was doing at the time but the more I tried to do that it seemed to me the worse that this um, became thank you Glenn that's very kind of you with the worst that this became and I kind of stuck it out for about an hour sometimes as psychologists where our worst um, clients you know we forget to uh, look after ourselves we're very good at helping everybody else kind of like our mechanics car is never working I guess um, or a carpenter's house is never built but anyway so this went on for about an hour and then I thought I'm going to take myself away. So I went outside and we have a big shopping centre near us and I needed to buy some things for the new office. So, you know, I started walking around the shops and uh, I went to some of my favourite shops and I was looking at different things for the office like candles and plants and soft furnishings and um, things like this. And anyway, the more I started sort of walking around, the more I was just trying to distract myself time just started to fly and then I came across a little massage parlor and I love having massages and I thought well I'll just pop down and I'll have a little neck and shoulder massage that normally makes me feel good and, and happy and calm so I sat down and it was a really nice place and they were very very kind and um, they looked after me thank you so much Glenn and um, anyway I sort of sat down and I started working on my uh, neck and everything but a couple of minutes into it I realized that I didn't have my eyes closed I wasn't enjoying it I wasn't present I was just I don't know I was just almost feeling irritated by somebody touching me and so um, thank you James this is James saying thank you for sharing this it makes clients appreciate how not alone we all are yeah so thanks James it's uh, I think important to share this kind of stuff too so anyway I was sitting there and it was irritating and then I got up and I felt very frustrated that the massage hadn't helped me good morning Kim and then I thought well maybe I'll go and get myself a really nice coffee maybe that will help me um, to, to distract myself and feel a little bit better so I went and I got a um, really nice coffee and I enjoyed it for about five minutes but guess what after I finished the coffee I still felt this anxiety and I I was on the brink of tears and um, I was walking around and I don't know why I wanted to um, burst into tears but I just had this feeling like it was going to happen and um, I don't know it really worried me so then I ended up calling a friend and um, you know trying to talk through what what I was experiencing at the time and anyway next thing you know three hours had passed and um, I had to come back to the office because I uh, drive mum to work and I drive her home after work on Wednesdays um, as you know she works at practice with me so anyway, I decided to take mum out for uh, dinner. We went out to dinner and I was telling mum how I was feeling. Good morning, Jeffrey. I was telling mum how I was feeling and she said, well, you know, maybe it's just because you've got so much stuff going on. And anyway, we still couldn't get to the bottom of it and I was still feeling a bit mm last night and I went home and 
normally I would just sort of sit down and spend some time with Gabe, the magical dog, and uh, everything would be good. So I spent some time with Gabe, it felt great. And then before I went to bed, I really wanted to get to the bottom of what was going on. And so I realized that I've not been doing a lot of the things that I do ask my clients to do. And that is to, you know, live a lifestyle that's going to promote health and wellness. I think over the last few weeks leading up to the opening of the new practice, I've been burning the candle at both ends. I haven't been looking after myself. I haven't been getting enough sleep. I've changed my diet. I haven't been getting enough exercise. I haven't been getting my downtime. And I think now that the, the new practice and the new location, it's all sort of coming together and we open on Thursday next week, which is only, you know, six days away. Um, I, I think what's happened is I don't need all the adrenaline anymore. And so now um, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about things. So yeah, um, that's right, Glenn. I'm just needing to ground myself. And I think that's all, all it was. But the lesson for me, I think, was remembering that uh, routine for me, managing my anxiety is essential. Um, so, you know, I've cut back my diary now. I'm, um, I've gone and enrolled in uh, my hiking again. I've made time to catch up with my friends this week and I just try really hard to get this balance back in place. And I think that's what's going to help me. So, you know, I don't know what really helps you. Um, I'd love to hear what helps you guys uh, when you have moments of anxiety or you have moments of, of nervousness and, and what works for you, you know, I think maybe sometimes the value is in learning together and sharing our experiences. Uh, that's how we grow, isn't it? If we don't have these situations in our lives and life is easy, we don't learn and we don't grow and we don't develop. And I think for me as a psychologist, uh, it's hard, really hard to experience things like anxiety. <laughs> Um, because, you know, we have this thought that, well, we know all the tools and we know all the tricks, so we shouldn't. But the fact of the matter is we're human. And, um, you know, it, it bites to be human sometimes. But at other times, I think we need these little bolts of, of reality to jolt us back into the things that are important, um, such as getting the lifestyle back on track and looking after ourselves a little bit better. So... That's something that I just wanted to share with you. You're absolutely not alone. Four out of five people in Australia anyway, uh, I can't speak for the rest of the world because I don't know the statistics, but in Australia, it's four out of five people experience anxiety. Most of the time, anxiety is a condition that, that's in the background. It only sort of pops up when there's a trigger or there's some kind of stimulus that's happening in the environment around us. But if we have, good morning, Rebecca, if we have good, grounding tools in place, as Glenn was saying, then certainly we're able to mitigate and control that. Yeah. Anyway, I will let you go. But as I said, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on what helps you guys with anxiety as well. If we can all help each other, that's um, the purpose of doing these little videos. And uh, the other reason that I wanted to share this today too was because for those of you who watched the first 100 videos that I did last year, these were all around reducing stigma. So... If I don't talk about this, then I'm not helping to reduce stigma, am I? So thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for your kindness and your, your gentle words this morning. I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.